Greetings, my brothers. <laughs> we basically have another woodwind battle. With Mob from Mob Cycle, I ain't gonna cap. That's what the fuck I call him. I'm not calling him that. Shigichi, Shigichi, whatever the fuck his name is, bro. I think Mob just suits him better. Versus Sukuna. Now, I'm not even gonna lie to you, my nigga. Who would win? Honestly, if I'm being 100% honest, I absolutely see Mob absolutely destroying Sukuna. But let me explain why. Let's talk about attack potency, right? This Mob, bro, this nigga Mob, bro. This nigga has shown... Literally mountain levels of fucking feats, my nigga. Probably even above mount, like let's say mountain level plus. Possibly higher if that nigga goes to his goddamn question mark state and shit. But other hand, on fucking Sakuna and shit, bro, I have seen so many fucking wanks that doesn't make no damn sense. Now, I have seen fucking uh goddamn small town level to fucking city plus to possibly fucking country and shit. But look, look, look. Let me just tell you what that nigga really is. That nigga literally ranges, let's say, with just one of the fingers, he's literally like city block. Now, when he gets 15, you could obviously say he's small town level. At that point, he's absolutely small town level, my nigga. I don't get it that motherfuckers really try to hire shit, do all these ma these metas and shit. Like, who the fuck does Matas and claim that shit to be fact, my nigga? Like, there's Matas to be do. Like, people only do Matas for fun. If you take that shit seriously, I cannot take you seriously. But for speed, Mob is easily, like, massively fucking hypersonic. He res Dude, this nigga literally is just as fast or not faster than fucking Lightning. And we already know how fast fucking Lightning is. Over 200 million miles fucking per hour my nigga wait is that a million oh, wait it, what is it a million or no wait no that's light i think it's 200 th like 200 thousand somewhere somewhere around that bitch but you know that's taking that's technically fucking massively hypersonic but sakuna on the other hand i don't get it where the fuck do massively hypersonic fucking exist in fucking jujitsu kaisen my nigga like am, am i am i fucking stupid or some shit because Last time I checked, when I literally scaled Jujutsu Kaisen characters, if you seen my fucking videos, they, mo, all them niggas literally range from is fucking supersonic plus to hypersonic. The supersonic for the low tiers and shit, like fucking um UG, uh, just basically them niggas and shit. But massively hypersonic, bitch, where did that shit come from, my nigga? I ain't gonna cap for motherfuckers that said, well, I scaled him today. Well, your scaling is absolutely fucking wrong, sir. <laughs> you obviously don't know what the fuck you're doing, my nigga. And ver even fucking versus battles have that shit. Like, bro, where the fuck did you get hyper massively hypersonic fucking from? Like, nigga, I can't take none of y'all niggas, seriously. If you think Sukuna's actually massively hypersonic, or even has the, the range in that bitch, he's not even hypersonic plus. Like, the fuck? But how fast is Sukuna? I will literally say supersonic plus to hypersonic. That's literally, that's literally like the highest I could see a fucking Jujutsu Kaisen character fucking go. But if you want to be a fucking fanboy or fangirl, okay, I'm gonna let you believe that shit. I'm gonna let them niggas lie to your fucking face. I mean, obviously, because you, you must love being lied to, so, okay, shit, go listen to that nigga's opinion. He can't prove it's a fucking fact, so I don't give a fuck. But I already went through these niggas' speeds and fucking power, and you already know, Mobs has the fucking advantage. Now, let's say these niggas fought, right? Let's say Sukuna is the aggressor in this fucking fight, because, you know, Mob can't fucking see him, so he won't know what the fuck going on. But look, as soon as Sukuna tries to fucking attack this nigga, like, just, just say with a punch... Just anything, a fucking flame, whatever. Either the way, it's not going to affect Mob's barrier. And as soon as that shit hits, Mob will literally know where the fuck that nigga is. He doesn't have to know. He doesn't have to see the nigga to fucking bind the nigga and shit. Now, as soon as he binds Sukuna, he will literally just press this nigga to the ground. It's not like Sakuna could do a goddamn thing. Now, could Mob kill Sakuna? I don't personally think so. Hold up, wait a fucking minute. Yes, the fuck he can, my nigga, bro. Wait, hold up. Isn't Sakuna a spirit? Oh, yeah. Wait, bro I, just, bro, I literally just have to remember. That's literally how long I have fucking watched fucking Mob Cycle, my nigga. It's been like a goddamn year or two, my nigga. And I forgot this nigga Mob literally exercises fucking spirits. Oh, my God. This nigga can kill Sakuna. He will just exercise his shit. So do you know what that means? That means Mob can literally just, he, he absolutely wins 10 times out of fucking 10, my nigga. 
Like, literally, think about it, bro. Sukuna has not a damn thing he could do. Again, I mentioned, so if Sukuna uses the domain, he won't even be able to even move again because this thing will be binded by Mob, bro. So, who wins? My nigga, Mob fucking low diff. Neg diff. Literally, just one stare. He's Sukuna's already binded. The fuck? And wait, hold up. I just realized something else I've already forgot. Mob can see Sukuna because he can see spirits. So why can't he not see Sukuna? Oh my god. Yeah, Sukuna has no damn way. Of, he, he has absolutely not one fucking chance of fucking winning this battle, bro. Run a bear, run a bear.